Oof. Ah, Black Panther. Probably my first ever. So here, so here we actually have a Black Panther toy. This is a uh, Marvel Studios Legacy Collectible. So the funny thing with this one is I went to the clearance bin at Walmart, and this thing was there for $2. So I actually grabbed a couple of them. I was like, I'm not trying to army build or anything like that, but I was like, you know, that's a killer deal. I don't know what these things are actually worth. You know, I don't know if they're in that, you know, seven, nine, ten dollar range or something like that, or even more. But this is a cool little toy. I got it not too long ago, actually. But so Black Panther, uh, let's see, a warrior and new king of Wakanda. T'Challa defends his kingdom as the Black Panther. So and of course you got all the other languages and stuff in there too, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, um, we're going to get this thing open and check it out. So, it has like a cheaper look to it, obviously, but it's also in a smaller package. So, there's probably not much to it. The movement in it is probably not all that great, but we're still going to open it up and, you know, play with it. So, see what it's all about. So, let's get this guy open. What's cool about it, too, is it's the classic thing. You just rip it open. So... I usually don't keep my packaging for figures I open. Depends what they are. But, yeah. So, um, make sure there's nothing hidden in there. I guess um, that's kind of a cool setup, though, right? Could use that for something. So, let's step back here. Ah, I just want to fall over. All right. So, so what's this? Uh, pretty much just about it. Whatever where it's made and stuff I got too. Don't swallow. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, let's check this out. First, I'm going to pull a staff out. The staff looks pretty freaking cool. So, just so you guys know, yes, I, I do follow Marvel Comics, but I only follow certain things. I'm more of a DC kind of guy. So, I don't know what these powers are. I know he's based on like his armor is vibranium, which is cool. I get that. So I'm sure the staff is too. So, but I'm not sure about the electrical charge going on here. So, but what it looks like, we have a double-ended spear, and it has like a purplish blue look going on there. So, and it got a little whole thing going on there. But you tell it's charged up. So they have some very, very advanced technology, which puts humans way out of proportion. Like we we don't understand what they got. So and. Honestly, with the way the world's going now, I would love to just hang out there. So, yes, it's pretty solid plastic. You know, it's one of those ones that you bend it, you snap it. So, yeah. So, cool, cool, cool. Let's see what the action figure's about. So, I yeah, I've never seen any of the movies. Um, I do know the, the actor passed away. And that was pretty freaky because, you know, no one really knew about it. Maybe some of his close friends or whatever, but he just passed away. And they just did like, you know, uh, you know, ceremony for him kind of in the you know, Wakanda forever. So it's kind of sad. Um, so I'm going to have to pay tribute and actually watch the movies and stuff like that, too. Um, I believe his first appearance ever, though, in the comics was in a Fantastic Four or something like that. And I know him and Namor never got along, too. So, yeah, I'm sure there's some politics going on there or whatever. So anyways, with the toy, he's pretty much a simple, basic toy. Head can rotate. He doesn't come with any extra heads or anything like that. You got some little jewelry going on there, which is kind of cool. If I'm correct, in the Civil War movie, uh, he like taps or whatever, and his armor just comes on out or something. So it's kind of cool. So he has your basic in and out, rotate, 360. Yep. So he's actually tough. He's a tougher toy. Arm, arm rotates and pivots up and down, but his hand does not move. So his hand's station, stationary. So obviously the staff's going to go in this hand. This one, he has his claw, like he's ready to claw somebody up. So that's kind of cool. You got some other little stuff going on there on his glove. It's still bad too. Yeah, his armor should be like a vibranium stuff, which is like one of the strongest metals in the Marvel Universe. So I think uh, uh, antimadium actually is above that. So uh, vibranium is actually what was created with uh, Captain America's shield. But I'm sure you guys know about it. So, all right, and you got your basic, yes. This is definitely more of a child's kind of toy because it doesn't have all the articulation and stuff like that, the movement and stuff like that too. So he pretty much just does even barely does the splits. So um, he doesn't bend at the knees or anything. Feet don't bend. So he does have a little peg holes so he can stand him up somewhere. I'm sure he can stand up on his own. Yeah. Yep. 
fully. So he's a pretty basic, simple guy. So yeah, but yeah, two bucks, man. Nice little filler for the shelf. So I like that. So yeah, staff fits in there just perfect. I wish he could rotate his hand though. So, but you can just rotate, rotate the elbow. That'll work. So you can do whatever you want. Do like a whole throwing thing. What kind of fava? So, but I'm going to kind of put it down here for the pose and kind of like maybe cross it on them. Yeah, let's see. What? Yeah, maybe like, maybe like so. He's reaching out like, I got you. Rotate that. Yeah. So that's it. That's, there's not much to this toy. It's just a cool little thing to put on the shelf. So I do wish the, there was more detail. It does have a leather look going on there or whatever, but that's his armor and stuff like that too. So it's, yeah, works for me. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was just a nice little quick toy opening of, you know, everyone's favorite Black Panther. So, all right, guys. Until next time, kitties. I appreciate it. Until next time.